In the digital context, you often hear that you have to change your machine concepts. That is the topic that we are going to handle today. Felix, first of all, why would you actually change your machine concept? Well, because the requirements are changing. Machines need to get smaller, they need to be more individualized for certain use cases, but on the other side, products are getting more and more individualized, batch sizes are getting smaller, and the change over times need to be faster. So the requirements of the markets are fundamentally changing. So do we have the technological solution to address these kind of challenges at Beckhoff? Yes, we have developed the x system. The x system is a planar motor, and for the very first time, products can be transported levitating. So there is no contact between the parts of the transport system, and this enables us to completely rethink the machine of the future. Back to the roots, Felix. How does that technically work? Well, if you remember the earlier stages of your career in school, you might think of a physics class where you had magnets in your hands and then you directed the magnets with red and green end towards each other and the magnets were attracting each other. When you had the magnets with the same colors together, then the magnets were repelling each other. And this magnetic repulsion is the fundamental effect behind the X-planar system. We are replacing one of the magnets from school with the X-planar tile, which generates an electromagnetic field. And on the other side, we have the X-planar mover, and the X-planar mover contains strong permanent magnets. Once the tile is powered up and switched on, the electromagnetic field is generated and the mover lifts off and floats over the tile, as you can see in this video. So as we see in the video, Felix, the movers are not just moving from A to B. That's right, because we can control the mover in six dimensions. The mover has six degrees of freedom, and this enables us to tilt and rotate around different axes and gives us a lot of flexibility for positioning or processing different products in different applications. And um, with all that versatility, what other advantages does the system provide? Of course, the, it is possible to build the x systems up in a very, very modular way. The x tiles can be arranged completely free and independent, and on the tiles we can have different mover sizes. I will come back to that in a second. In addition, we have the possibility to realize a completely decoupled product transport. It is no longer necessary to go from station A to B to C. You can go from station A to C, back to B to A, and again to C without even interrupt, uh, interrupting the process of the entire machine. So a lot of flexibility for the, uh, the process. In addition, the levitation prevents any kind of mechanical wear and tear and also makes sure that no particles are emitted from the x system into the environment. So the system is very, very low maintenance and perfect for hygienic applications. So we have productized this technology but what products are these, actually? I would like to start with the hardware products. We have here the x tile. The x tile is our motor module, and the x tile contains everything which you need to make the mover levitate. It has the coils inside, power electronics, a position feedback, and a power supply even. The tiles can, uh, are not mechanically interconnected, and they can be arranged completely free. The communication between the tiles is done via EtherCAT G, the extension of EtherCAT. So we have a very, very high performance field bus directly on board to build up very, very big x systems. On top of the x tile, we have the x movers. I would like to start with the small mover or the mid-size mover. The mid-size mover can carry up to 1.5 kilogram. This makes it a perfect and very versatile tool for transporting different kinds of products. If you would like to transport smaller products, we can use the small x mover with 400 grams of payload. The big advantage of the small mover is that it enables a higher packing density. So two movers can see each other in a two-directional operation on one tile size. So, so perfect for small applications with low payloads. On the other end of the payload spectrum, we have the big mover, which is down here on the left side, and the big mover enables us to transport up to four kilograms. If this is not enough, the movers can be coupled together by a mechanical fixture, 
and then the movers combine their payload and we can transport even higher payloads. So a multitude of the payload of a single big mover, for example. Of course, identification is also something which is interesting because the movers are free objects. They can be placed everywhere and they can go everywhere on the XPlanar system. So we need to be able to find them. And that's why we have embedded the XPlanar mover identification. And this mover identification enables us to communicate from the tile to the mover and the mover can, be, can answer with a unique identification number and tell the system where it is currently located. This makes it very, very easy to trace products through the machine and of course eases out the sorting at the beginning of the startup of the machine. It sounds like uh, the system requires some kind of intelligence on board. What have we done to achieve this? Intelligence is as always done via TwinCAD. TwinCAD contains a lot of XPlanar specific functionalities which enable us to start the system, to plan the paths of the movers, to avoid collisions. And we have enriched these software functionalities by a lot of software samples so that the users can get started with the technology. The software products which we have available are called TF5410, TF5430 and TF5890. Philip, can you tell us a bit more about the startup procedure? Of course, we have made a very nice video about this, which shows how our graphical configurator is used. So the user can naturally click together the system, which is physically built up in software, and TwinCAD automatically generates all the necessary links and objects inside TwinCAD. So the process from setting up the system to starting the path planning of the movers is actually done in a very, very short time. And this makes it very, very easy to get started with the technology. And how do the movers actually find their way from A to B? Oh, that's, of course, one of the very, very big points in regard to the XPlanar. And that's why we have developed the concept which we call track management. On every XPlanar system, the user can have many different XPlanar tracks. These tracks can be closed or open, and they don't have to be connected because the movers can switch between the tracks. Let me show this in a short example. So in this picture, we see the red mover up here and the red house where the red mover wants to go. And now the red mover has a couple of options to get to the house. The first option is to follow the track one here. But unfortunately, track one is blocked. There is a lot of traffic on track one. So the mover evaluates other options. In this case, track 4 would be a good option because track 4 is completely empty and offers a shortcut to the red house. So the mover can switch from track 1 to track 4 and go directly to the red house. It is so the movers can switch between the tracks and on the tracks, TwinCAD takes care that the movers don't touch, is, touch each other because collision avoidance is already built in. So we've eventually raised the interest of the one or the other user here. How do we at Backoff support interested people into actually adopting this technology? Of course, a very new technology also requires some kind of a learning curve. And that's why we offer the XPlanar starter kits. The starter kits are pre-assembled systems. They come with some tiles and some movers and a control cabinet with a controller inside. And of course, a software demo. The software demo shows the user how to program an XPlanar machine in the very best way. In this video, we, we see the starter kit, and on the starter kit, we see a track management application. So the movers go from either station one to station two or to station three. That shows the flexibility of the system. And of course, we do not stop there. For example, diagnosis features are shown as well in this demo project. Felix, we've already mentioned that the system is very versatile. It seems to be able to cover a lot of applications. What applications do you see from your perspective? Of course, it is possible to do a flexible and independent connection between different process stations with the XPlanar. That's a very good use case, but fortunately, not the only use case. Discussing with our customers, we have figured out that there's really no reason to put any borders to the creativity with XPlanar applications. We have seen various use cases independent from markets and certain industries, so there's really a lot of things which can be done with the XPlanar. The following video shows an XPlanar sorting application. 
we utilize the possibility to park movers and the possibility that the movers can overtake each other here to bring products in the correct order. On the one side, we are putting a box of products which is completely unsorted into the machine. Then the movers establish the correct order of the products on the outside. Showing this again, here the green mover parks and the other movers overtake and then the order which is required is established. In case something goes wrong, this is not stopping the entire process. So this is also a very big benefit of the explanar. In this case, we can just take one mover out of the process, repair, th repair the problem and then put it back in without stopping the rest of the machine. That looks quite dynamic, Felix. But what about the positioning accuracy? Fortunately, we can present good news here as well. Because with the X planar, we are able to achieve a repeatability down to a couple of micrometers. This enables the user to combine product transport and product positioning in one system. A handover between the transport system and the positioning system, for example, a gantry system or a robot, is no longer needed because the X planar takes over this functionality as well. This makes the Xplanar the perfect product and the right choice for mounting processes or the assembly of electronics. What kind of other special applications do you see? We can utilize the six degrees of freedom for special applications as well. Here we see the example, the milkshaker. The Xplanar mover carries out a tilting movement which mix mixes together milk and food coloring. This means that the Xplanar takes over the task of an additional processing station, for example, a steering station in this case, and the levitational effect at the same time takes care of the f uh, limited distribution of contaminations within the explanar machine. So the system again shows the capabilities for very clean applications and for handling foods in this case. Felix, that really opens up a lot of possibilities for applications that I would not have thought of before. Now, could you please summarize all the advantages of the explanar to us? Of course. So, first of all, it is important to memorize that the explanar and the levitating product transport enables a lot of applications across every industry, and it is really possible to rethink established processes completely. Then, looking at the back of side, we are supplying an entire toolbox of hardware products and we have developed a lot of software, software functionalities which make it very, very easy and comfortable to make the first steps into the direction of the machine of the future. The very best for the end, the Xplanar is not a technology study, it's not a concept, it's an available product. And we are inviting everybody who is seeing this video to discuss with us about their machine of the future.